there's been a lot of talk also. I mean, I've seen some reports of guys like Sintum and Jay-Z, um, you know, that, that there's obviously other provinces after them. Now, I know there is a bit of a moratorium. I, hopefully, the guys will stick to the window, the transfer window as such, um, which, which yeah. is always a difficult thing. But um, are, are you looking, are you going to be losing a lot of players? I mean, because I think that's probably every Cheetah fan's worry uh, yeah, every season. Yeah, it's the uh, head coach's biggest worry. Um, the better we do, the more players we lose. So that's how it is at the Cheetahs for many years. Um, so that's, that's also one of the reasons why I decided to go with a smaller squad, is to try and keep the core of our mm. current squad at the Cheetahs. But yeah, there are four players that, that I know about that we will definitely lose. Joseph Dweber is confirmed already. He's going to France in, in June. Um, the other three I won't mention, but yeah, I know we, we are going to lose them and I've got backup plans to try and, and recruit someone with the same experience and the same quality um, in, in those players' positions. Mm, I can imagine. Uh, regarding Sintu, uh, it's not a done deal yet. His agent accepted our offer um, two weeks ago. And then suddenly, two days later, he uh, informed me that the Bulls is in talks with Sintu and I must get hold of him and whatever. So it's a bit of a struggle since then. But we believe that they committed to us and um, we, will, we will hold them to that. Okay. So just, just, to make, just to clarify that, so I mean, the fact that you're going for 35 is, is not because of Franz Stein, that he's coming with a big salary. It's because it's more that you're spreading the money a bit in a smaller pool, if I can put it that way. Yeah, uh, to keep... <clears throat> the best players currently in our squad, I needed to offer some of them quite a, a substantial increase. And um, it was important for me to try and keep those players to us. Um, guys like, like Sintu, for instance, he was, mm. he was on a quite small salary the past two years. He, um, he played for, I think, a few games for the Kings and then at Griquas. And then he joined the Cheetahs. So... Um, yeah, it's such a good curry cup and <clears throat> pro rugby season that he's in high demand. So the offer that I had to make to him wasn't close to to what he was earning or what he's earning currently. Um, and that was the same for a few of of the quality players in our squad. And then, um, yeah, I made the decision that it's better for us to have to rather have 35 players that you've got five or six that's really versatile, can cover a few positions. And you've got quality then to lose maybe 12, 14 players like what happened in 2017 after the Cheetahs had a good year in pro rugby. I think they lost 17 players in the end, um, from which eight or nine were in the Springbok team or close to the Springbok team. And um, it took two years to, to mm. recover from that. So I don't want to go through that dip again.